Have you seen my garden? Yeah, it's quite lovely. Yes, I know. Your mother seems to be doing quite well. Is she? It's good. Good. Old hag. Hey, be nice. What can I say, doctor? You bring out the best of me. Oh, come on. There's no need for that now. Forgive me. Do you remember why I'm here? I do. Excellent. I feel good about it. You do? Yeah. One less lunatic in the world. Well, it's not like you haven't tried. I know. I've had no complaints. It's been fun. Mine has lasted. Good. Acceptance. That is everything. I appreciate you bearing witness. Mm. I wish to be set in my garden. And my ashes scattered about. All agreed. Then it's time. Marvin, I came to tell you that I'm leaving. That I won't be here and I just came to say goodbye. Leaving? Yes. You can't leave. You promised to stay. To see this through. Look, Marvin. You and I have spent a lot of time together. I've analyzed every aspect of your brain function. Studied your behavior. And observed all of your personalities. There are some things that science just cannot understand. Or, perhaps I should say, there are things that humans can't understand. It's all there, all the facts, all the meaning. It's just a matter of perception and comprehension, isn't it? And you're beyond such matters. Therefore, things need to be left as they are, accepted as they are, and things need to be forgotten as they are. Because no good has ever come out of frustration. You know that better than anyone. Even if we did figure you out, there's no guarantee that it's going to benefit humanity. Maybe you'd unlock a key that would make things worse. And if that knowledge were to fall into the wrong hands, what then? Hmm? Would it be my fault for such discovery? You made me question my motives as your doctor. That much is certain. I don't know what will happen to me after all this. But at least we know that you're parting into the great unknown. And there's some relief in that, wouldn't you say? But you can't just expect me to stand there and watch you die.